All right, guys, I'm not going to show you the whole complete teardown, guys, because I think you guys have probably seen enough of them. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to show you quick here exactly what I'm going to take out of it, and the rest will be scrapped. So I'm going to, this is the one that was laying outside by the, the road there, so I just brought it in. I'm going to cut this cord off, which is pretty basically pretty easy. I mean, snip, snip. I just got a pair of wire cutters here right now. And then, all right, so that's done. We'll, we'll throw that in the bin after here. Well, actually, I'll show you where the bin is for it. So as, you, as I said, guys, I do have lots of wire. This is the one that's up here that's full, and there's already more up here that's already full. So, there. So, that one's in there, guys. So, that's the one I'm going to take down, I think, today. I'm um, probably going to throw a little more in it. And that one's going down to be put inside, so I can start peeling it in the next couple days once it warms up, because I don't like it cold when it goes through the machine. All right, so all I got to take these screws out. This one has a six screw. All I do is take the hammer, and I just hit them. Uh, I may not be able to do it with one hand, but I, when I get to it, I'll show you and see if I can. So, hold on. All right, so I'm going to knock this screw up right here with the hammer, and then there's one up here with the hammer, and I just peel them right off, and then I don't even worry about them, guys. I mean, yeah, I could take them out. I probably got the Pacific bit for it, which is in my bit section over here, but you know what? You know, by the time I go back and forth, and I can just grab my hammer, which I always have handy when I'm working on the desk. That's what I do, guys. Even when I'm working outside on you know, my truck, the back of my truck, I have a hammer, always handy, pair of wire cutters, and I use it my drill, and I use it for the normal bits. But I usually, when it comes to the oddball bits, unless it's something that's got brass or something in it that I have to take them out, I don't bother, guys. I just take the hammer, and I just break them off. I mean, the hammer pretty much come down. I'll show you when I can take them off. I can't really hold it and hit it, guys. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have a tripod. And there's no room up here, guys. It's pretty full still. Um, I'm working on it, guys. I've not sold anything out of here other than I got rid of some more motors that I had thrown in here. And I still got rid of my stainless. Um, I've been just peeling wire, guys. I've not sold that copper wire. Uh, that's the, my number. That'll be my bright, you know, my bright wire. I have not sold it. I have not sold any of the crap wire yet. Um, but I have no concern of it right now. It's just money in the bank and I'll keep stocking it up, guys. Um, and I haven't sold much. I don't think I've sold any aluminum. Um, I gotta find about aluminum rims. And I don't even know what I got over here. I mean, I got air conditioners that's gotta be cleaned. And this here's got all that wire in it. That's gotta be, see how thick the wire is that's in here? I gotta pull it out, guys. See? Yeah, I gotta take that out of this yet. Um, there's more wire in here yet guys more number one and Rads over in the far over there. I got more rads to add to that. I just haven't thrown them in there yet So yeah, it is a bit of a mountain in here guys. I'm working on it though guys It is a cold day outside. It is windy It is a windy one guys So yeah, I'm probably gonna take that uh, red thing apart too. It's got one of those big ones in it I'm gonna show you guys probably gonna do this this microwave then I'm gonna do that all right, guys, and we'll, uh, I'll show you probably when I do that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe when I set it up, maybe I can show you guys that one. Um, we'll see. I don't have a part tripod up here, guys. I don't really have anything to hold my phone other than me. So, um, I don't think I can prop it up, guys. And I don't have a mask on, so, yeah, I got to be careful how I angle the phone. So, um, maybe with the red one, guys, I'll show you guys how I take that one apart. But that one's got some juicy stuff into that one there, okay? So, stay tuned. All right, guys, you can see a couple of wax. I, I just tipped over here a couple of wax with the, uh, the hammer. Yeah, and that was only a couple of wax, guys, and I wasn't even hit real hard on the other side the same way. Took the screw of that one, though. So there you go, and now I'll show you. All you just take it and you peel it off. There's one more screw at the side here with the drill I have to do. So it's just a normal screw. So I take that off, and then the whole thing will peel right off, and then we'll get the rest of the goodies out of this. All right, took the top off, set it down. All it does is just once you get the screws, it just pulls out. So there's that. Uh, my, my steel bucket here is full, so yeah, I may have to take some more steel out of here just to get rid of it, guys. I don't want to, the thing is, I don't want to dump this bucket up on the hill because it's very full of screws and stuff. So I may just take it in and get rid of it at steel, like I said, because steel isn't too bad. And it's not like I, you know, I mean, I might throw just a load of something on and just get rid of it. Or we'll see what happens, because I got to get rid of this. This is like overflowing, and I'm starting to work up here now. So I'm going to take this off. I want this baby down here. See, guys, I want this baby down here. And then there's another motor here. Uh, and then there's another one over here, a little surfboard, guys. I'm going to peel all this all out, and I'll give these guys a look and see what I get out of it. All right, guys, so there's what I got out of the goodies, guys. Uh, I didn't finish this here. This will be another day. I'm not going to clean it today, so I'll just throw it in another bucket. I took the brass piece off because there it was at the end of it, so there's the brass piece. I will start the brass up here again. Um, as you can see, a little bit of wire. Um, these here have um, little copper pieces in them. Sometimes I don't clean them. Sometimes I just give them to my sister. Um, she likes to fiddle around with them at night when she's watching TV. Uh, that's my other sister. I don't Actually, I think you've seen her, guys. She's the other blonde. 
um, she likes to fiddle around with those, and then she gets like a bucket full of she gets rid of her own copper and stuff. And then these guys, um, I usually clean them. All I do is just take the hammer, see where the weld is, guys. You hit with the hammer right along here. I will show you guys here in a second. I'm not gonna actually show you, show you. I'm gonna actually hit this right here. Right here. See where this is, guys? Right here. Right where that crevice is right there. Hit that with the hammer, and it'll break right off, and then you just pull these off, guys. Alright, and I think the bottom one's aluminum, I think the top one's copper, so that's what I'm gonna do. And there is the Microwave guys, as you can see, I got it at there's nothing left to it is steel and the rest of the steel is sitting in my steel bucket guys Which I'm going to probably get rid of the stuff and it's a little warm. I took my coat off, but it is cold outside guys That wind is blowing It is bad guys outside. We got a cold windy day with snow again. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the little motors I got three little pieces that I throw in here. This can go as motor content for me See I do not save that little piece of copper sometimes I give it to my sister if I feel like it or she comes around, I happen to just give her sometimes a bucket full of she just works away at it. I just don't have time for the small stuff, guys. Um, I don't mind taking microwaves apart. I don't mind it. I don't mind the wire stuff. Like I said, I take all this wire, of course, and it goes over here in my bucket, guys. So, that I don't mind, but I just don't have time for every little motor, guys. I mean, busy, sizzy. It's been busy, so busy for me, guys. I haven't had time to do much of anything other than I'm just getting up here now to work in the shop. And I've got lots up here. Like, I mean, it's just overwhelming for me. Like, all those garbage cans are full of stuff. So, yeah. I gotta, you know, and that's not including what's waiting for me in the back room. Yeah. It is overwhelming, guys. It's a lot. So, I'm just slowly working away in this room here to get somewhat cleaned up and start cleaning off my tables. Like, my table was even covered. I cleaned all that stuff off of here. And I got an air conditioner over there I'm probably gonna do. But that's not until I get that one done there. So, hold on, guys. I'm gonna finish this piece first. And then we'll show you what I get. All right, guys, you can see it came off pretty easy. All you do is, like I said, just break that weld on the bottom, and then that's all it holds it on the end. See it just right here across it? I know, guys, it's hard to show you, but like I said, this would just be on the mount on the back of it. Oh, sorry, like this kind of, like, that's how it went. And it went all the way across, and it was attached on it. And all you do is just knock them off. The weld holds it on, guys. It actually circles like that. There's a weld that goes all across, and these are all welded all the way along. I just hit it with a hammer, like I said, where that crevice was, where the weld was. See, there's like a weld on them. See, there's a weld there, but that's the wrong weld. You gotta hit the bottom weld and it knocks it off. And then all you do is just take the hammer and knock the rest of this off. Sorry, guys, I don't even know if you were seeing it. But all you do is just hit the bottom weld right here. And then the rest will just kind of break away. And then you can just take the wire cutters and work it back and forth or continue with the hammer. Um, and then the rest of this, all you just take your hammer and just knock it straight down. Just prop up. I mean, your choice, what you guys want to do. I mean, this isn't, I don't have to do this. My, actually, my scrapyard will take these as they are. Um, they do just go as copper content. Um, so I could just rid right of that bucket right there, but I'm going to, I'm going to clean this one to show you guys. Sometimes I clean them if they're copper, they're all the way copper, I'll clean them all. But this one here, I just want to show you guys, this one here has a partial aluminum. And you can always tell when you pull them off, guys. Just give it a quick little slice of the wire cutters and you can tell if it is or not. I'm going to finish cleaning it and then I'll uh, show you guys when I get it done completely, okay? Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you this motor here. This is another motor that came out of the, uh, out of the microwave, guys. So, I'm not cleaning it. Sorry guys. Right in there. I don't have time for it. So it's in there. Unless my sister comes along she wants to pick out of it. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it, guys. And this is all steel. So. Alright, I'm going to finish it up. And then I'll show you when I get done. Alright, guys. So there it is. These are chunks of aluminum. This is fine. I'll just throw them in my aluminum. I don't got to do more to them. So they're going to go right over in here, guys. With the aluminum. Which is fine with me, guys. I don't mind. Aluminum is aluminum, guys. I don't mind. And they can be the way they are, so, and it won't go as paint, it won't go as anything, it just goes low copper here in my yard. Alright, and this is all the mess, and then they go piece another chunk of wire, goes over in the wire pile, and this is all steel. Like I said, I would not normally clean the aluminum ones, uh, maybe if I was really extremely bored, um, but I don't have any time for, I usually just pile them up and then I do them all at once. Like I sometimes I'll do like 20 or 30 of these all at once, so. And they don't take that long. It's just because I got to keep stopping and, and doing the video thing, guys. I can usually whip through these pretty quick. But this is all steel, guys. And it's pretty heavy. This stuff gets pretty heavy. So, All right. So that's it for that, guys. We'll move on to the next thing, I guess. So hold on, guys. All right. So we're on to the next delectable thing, guys. <clears throat> I'll take screws in it, guys. I had like, what, two, four, six, eight, uh, ten screws in it, guys. Take the top off it. So ooh, look what's inside, guys. That looks like uh, scrapper gold. Yeah, it's got a big one in it, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out and then knock the screws out of it, or the bolts out of it there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's all being held in here, you guys, but uh, I'll get at this. 
And this is just steel, guys. This baby's steel. Like I said, my steel pot. Mounting up, guys. It is mounting up. All right, this one's got a bit of snow in it by the looks of it. Must have been inside. I don't know. It is cold, guys, is all I know. So, yeah, I got to have to... This is a plate. It's aluminum. Um, it's got a dinky circuit board on it. So, it's got a couple of... I don't know. Anyhow, we'll get our we'll get our cut down, guys, and get all the wire out of it, and I'll get it pulled out. And it's got a couple of screws holding it in the bottom, or bolts holding it, I guess. Are they bolts? Yeah, they're bolts holding it in there, guys. So I'm gonna have to get my uh, socket set out and put some on the end here. All right, guys, I'll get it dismantled, and then I'll show you exactly what I get out of this baby. As you can see, it's not that hard. Just take the nuts and bolts out, guys. I'm no, don't ever think you can't do anything, guys, because you know what? If you've got the patience, there isn't anything you can't dismantle, guys, and there's nothing you can't take apart. Okay. And there's money in this stuff if you've got the time and you've got the space for it, guys. So, um, have at it, guys, and get out, all right? All right, so I'm going to get at this and get this apart. All right, so she's all dismantled, guys. There's the uh, the box and the top for it. And I threw all the loose screws and bolts in there because I don't want a mess left on here. A little bit of wire cut off. I threw it in the bucket over there. Sorry, guys. Over there in the far bucket. So, there it is, guys. This is a different kind of... Uh, of one this one here does not have the uh, the weld that you can knock off these actually have to be pulled out you have to pull these ones out and i'm not in the mood tonight to do that so or today whatever you want to call it so i'm going to leave this one but there is a chunk of copper in this one guys see the good, good wire i gotta cut the rest of this wires off it's up there on here but it is good and good and chunky guys so yep there's some more copper to add to the copper hoard, guys. So I'm happy about that. And I guess that's all I'm going to do for now for this, these uh, takeaways and stuff. I'm going to probably work on something else. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to work on, but I mean, I, it's hard for me to keep pulling the camera out, guys. I mean, that's pretty much a breakdown of the uh, microwave. And this here is what they call a charger. This was from the cleaning company. This is one of those big chargers. It was no good. They had cut the cord off it already and had said right on it was junk, guys. So I wasn't keeping it and I didn't care to fix it. I don't really, nothing to do with me, guys. I'd rather just scrap it and be done with it. All right, guys. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.